Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to insert data into an SQL database using C Sharp ASP.NET. Now, I know I've been a little lax on the tutorials, sorry about that, but I'm uh, starting, as you can see, I upgraded to Windows 7, so I've been having to reinstall my software and whatnot, and I had to figure out how to disable hardware acceleration, otherwise, none of this would have worked. So, um,. I had a user request for insert, delete, edit, and display data from an SQL database. So the first one I'm going to start off with is insert. So to get started here, you're going to want to go to new project and under the C Sharp tab and the web tab, you're going to want to hit web form application and let it load up. After you do that, you're going to want to go to the solution explorer and hit add new item and add a new web form and let that load up and then double click on it in the design tab and then you're going to want to go to your toolbox and double click text box and then a button and hit the back arrow key so you can get in between the button and the text box and then double click on the button now if you watch my previous tutorial I showed you how to connect to an SQL database using C Sharp ASP.NET so the first thing we're going to want to do is using system if I can type dot data dot SQL client and using system dot data dot SQL make sure you add semicolons after both of those using statements now we're going to come down here and we're going to type SQL connection connection is equal to new SQL connection open parentheses double quotations and the first one is going to be server equal to local host or whatever your server is. This is for if you're connecting to an online server made by like PHP my admin for example. So server equals local host and then UID is equal to username. It should be self-explanatory. PW password is equal to password and then the last one is going to be database is equal to uh, database name semicolon and the double quotations and parentheses semicolon and then connection dot, dot open open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon, and dump, jump down two lines. Now basically all that does is it defines our server, p username, password, and the name of the database, and it goes and finds that if you're using the FTP upload, and it will connect to it, and then that's telling it to open the connection for us to uh, do stuff. Now of course none of that is username, password, anything, so you just have to swap that out, and then um, embed it in your website, and it should work. So after you've done that, you're going to want to do SQ, or sorry, string uh, SQL query, or sorry, string username is equal to new, oh sorry, is equal to text box one dot text semicolon, and then string SQL query is equal to open parentheses, double quotations, insert capital insert sorry into uh, bracket the name of your database which would be database for uh, testing purposes open space open parentheses username and in this parentheses is going to be the column name so you have a table and then inside of you have columns for usernames passwords etc well and that it's going to be for column name values open parentheses single quote double quote text box one dot text and before the text one dot one dot text you're going to want to add a plus sign and then after it, add a plus sign and then do double quotations single quotations close parentheses double quotations open parentheses or close quotations sorry and then semicolon and then you're going to want to type SQL command is equal to uh, command is equal to new SQL command open parentheses SQL query comma connection 
to close the uh, parentheses and add a semicolon and command dot add sorry dot parameters dot add with value open parentheses it's going to be the name of the um, uh, column which is column name in this example comma or close quotations comma username which is our string because it's going to be pulling it from the text box open or close parentheses semicolon and then skip a line and do command dot execute non query open parentheses close parentheses semicolon now basically what this does is it creates a string to hold whatever is typed in the text box one and then another string to hold the SQL command uh, so that it knows exactly what to do in this in case it's telling it to insert it into database which is the name of the database for testing purposes and then it's going to insert it into the uh, column in the table of that database it's going to insert it into the column uh, column name if it were to be real and then it values text box one dot text now SQL command is creating a new command and that command is going to run the SQL query script which is the insert and it's using the connection uh, SQL connection and then command dot parameters dot add with value is basically telling it again that the column name is equal to username and then command dot execute non query executes the entire thing so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials comment rate subscribe uh, website is www.computertutorials.ismywebsite.com I'm gonna be looking into get a um, getting a paid uh, domain so stay tuned for that but yeah thanks